This week's episode of Recently Added is sponsored by Tom Hardy Grunting. Tom Hardy Grunting, yeah, he likes to grunt, yeah. We will watch all the films for you, so if they're crap, we can share our view from the silver screen to the telly that's new, so you can just watch our show instead. Recently added. Yay. Hey, Will. Hello. How are you? <laughs> it's weird I'm we good. should be being like this again. Yes, I know. Will we ever? I don't know if we'll be with one another in person again. <laughs> That's true. I, to start on shallow points, have you seen? Um, this is pathetic, right? But I'm prepared to open up to you and tell you. You know, um, you know, normal people. Yes, you haven't watched it, have you? I've watched it and and binged on it, and we we did like a remote interview with the cast. I didn't tell them this at the time because I hadn't bought it, but I bought a chain that the guy wears in the show that like loads of people are. <laughs> When I saw the show, I was like, I kind of, I kind of think I always wanted that. I just didn't yeah. know. Oh, is it, is it because, is it because he kind of never takes it off, and when he's shirtless, he's kind of wearing it, like kind of like Brad Pitt, Ryan Gosling. It's weird, isn't it? Like when Brad Pitt and Ryan Gosling, they're when they're in any film, any characters, they're always wearing like a necklace. It's and yeah. I honestly believe that it's just theirs, and the costume person's like, keep it on. He looks good, whatever. Have you ever done anything specifically style wise after you saw an actor do it? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I used to uh, order, um, when I was young, I used to order uh, J2Os instead of like a normal Coke because it meant I could drink it like a beer, like in the movies, and they're like, if they hold it from like the the top of the bottle, and then, you know, like, uh, like Vin Diesel with his Coronas in Fast and Furious. It just looks so cool. <laughs> so I used to order like it. Apple and mango J2O just so I could be like. <laughs> so, uh, what okay. have you been watching, James? Uh, well, Space Force is brand new. It's uh, Steve Carell's return to sitcom comedy. When I was a child, our country. Put a man on the moon. We're going back. Shit. So, Space Force is essentially uh, loosely based on the real life Donald Trump idea that you can militarize the moon. And the sitcom is essentially a workplace comedy about a general who is out of his depth trying to put boots on the moon by 2024. Yeah. Truth is, though, I, uh, did I laugh that much? It's, I, it's like all modern American comedies. It's written so fast that you don't really have a chance to kind of... You, you can admire at the zingers, but sometimes you feel like they're writing zingers for the sake of writing zingers. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Space Force. What have you been watching, Will? Uh, I watched a brilliant film which has recently been added to um, Netflix uh, a couple of days ago. It's called I Origin. I go to 7 Eleven, I buy some stuff. 11 Eleven. Lucky 11s. I look at the date, it's 11 Eleven. I look at the time, it's 11 Eleven. I start to see these 11s everywhere. When I followed them, I found these eyes. It is a 2014 film. Um, so it's not brand new, but it's, but it's, uh, one of, I wanted to talk about it cause it's one of these hidden gems, which is on Netflix, which may, will probably be watched cause it's on Netflix and everyone watches anything, but, um, it's, uh, it, it really, um, yeah, it blew me away. It's, it's a film with a, a small budget, but a huge idea without ruining it because if i t if i say the sort of the premise of the film that it kind of it kind of ruins the the discovery of it as you're watching it because that's what the film's all about is you're discovering it with with the, the the main actor uh he there's something about 
this girl that he meets and he falls in love with her, which changes his perception of what he thinks is scientifically real and also the fabric of our whole kind of reality as we know it. Uh, yeah. And it's just, it's <laughs> like, the, the, the wonderful, the wonderful thing about this film is it is, in, it's encouraging um, imagination because of the small budget, it can't show you the, the vastness of the idea of this film. You have to imagine it yourself. And in that way, it's almost like a, a, one of those thriller horror films, you know, where they don't show the, the ghoul or the ghost. And so you create yeah. your mind and you make it twice, three times as scarier than it actually is. Stick into uh, Netflix. A um, lot of shows on Netflix this week, but, um, you know, they, they, they've added a lot of stuff. Is uh, the Great British Flower, sorry, the Big Flower Fight on Netflix. It begins. Ten pairs of amateur floral sculptors from around the world are coming together to battle it out. Run, run, run. Teams will create super-sized structures festooned with flowers and foliage. It's called the Big Flower Fight, and it is essentially the Great British Bake Off with, uh, with flowers. Um, there is... Uh, <laughs> there is no a tent, I think it's a great big, idea. There is a tent in the countryside with uh, two comedian hosts and like a a panel of uh, experts to judge one thing they have to make and then the person that's uh, done the worst they leave and at the end of the series ends with one person left you know this this format's sounding familiar isn't it <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i was thinking like i was actually thinking at some point like I, you know it's in back they're not even pretending to change even a bit of it it's 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 like a carbon copy like and if it ain't broke then don't why try to fix it yeah commission um what's it called one more time because it will be big you've, you've it's called out. it's called the great british flat sorry it's called the the big flower fight <laughs> thanks thanks a lot will uh, <laughs> um uh, can i can i not talk about star wars oh for fuck's sake <laughs> all right all right. Actually, yes, you know what? You know, you get out what you put in in life. So here comes my enthusiasm for another Will James Star Wars update. Um, let's, let's end on a high. Here we go. Let's end in space again. Started in space, we're going to end in space. That's it. That's what I mean. Let's book so, end it. Was what's recently been added to Disney Plus is uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we lead them. People keep telling me they know me. No one does. But I do. I watched it. It's been added to, to Disney Plus, uh, and I did watch it in the cinema. I hated it then, but I, I rewatched it again. And I mean, I mean, just look. I've, I've written three pages of notes um just on this film um because it's just it it is it's infuriating I, I i'm not i'm not like we haven't got a lot of time so I, I i'm just gonna you know it's gonna give you the cliff notes if you're an adult you're not gonna like it it's dumb it's a contradictory film it, it feels like it's written by a 12 year old and if you're not a child if you're a star wars fan everything in it is just fan service it's not made for a film it's made for people to clap in a cinema it's um, skin deep isn't it it's, yeah it's, and it's basically exactly the same it's exactly the same as yeah yeah return of the jedi it's exactly the same premise they haven't changed anything and they're not even subtle about it it's just it's not a good film <laughs> That's brilliant. Now we're going to do trailers. Uh, we do we watch trailers. WWT. I've begun, I started calling it in my head. Well, me and Will um, uh, get a first reaction. So Will uh, suggests a trailer to me, and I do the same to him. Uh, you don't need to tell me uh, what trailer I'm watching because I've already watched it. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, yeah, you've already I, recorded it. I, I, yeah, I already. Um, yeah, I've already kind of gone ahead. And done it. Sorry, James, if you had a trailer for me to watch, but I saw that Tenet, 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 uh, trailer, um, the new Chris Nolan film came out, and I had to watch it. But I filmed myself watch it for the first time. Your trailer, 
Mr. Sloan, yes. is force of nature. Force of nature. Force. <laughs> okay. Force of nature. So force of nature. Okay. Space no, not, force yeah. started with Space Force, and now your trailer is Force of Nature. <laughs> yeah, Enjoy. okay. Okay. Hello. <laughs> it's time for some nolan -ness. Force of Nature, here we go. <laughs> Mel Gibson. Well, good to have him back. Has he been away? Yeah. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat we face. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. Also, J John David Washington. I don't know. I don't know where he's from. I haven't seen him anything. But it's. I'm going to go back to this. Uh, it's nice to see a uh, Nolan film without uh, Killian Murphy, Bale, or um, Tom Hardy, or Michael Caine. Michael Caine's probably in this, let's be honest. So it's like a uh, disaster movie. A very cheap looking disaster movie. Will I see when we get here? <laughs> wow. It's a disaster movie that's turned into a, uh, like a hostage thriller and a kind of taken vibe. It, well, we don't know Mel Gibson's uh, involvement yet, but <laughs> we know he's going to be beating people up. There we go. <laughs> Killing people. I gather you have an interest. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, it's good to see him back. <laughs> Sick. Kiss off lines. Good. By the way, this looks awful. Inversion. Hey, Mitt, I'm pulling the trigger. Yeah, shooting the bullet. You're yeah, catching it. Oh. I've seen too much. Oh, try and keep up. Okay, I'll talk too much throughout this. I, I have no inversion of time. Emil Hirsch, you haven't seen him for <laughs> eight years. Well, he was kind of in that last Tarantino film, but only briefly. Who would you like to buy? Oh. You chose the wrong profession. Oh, Kenneth Branagh, villain. Nice. Hopefully going to um, improve from his last um, villain escapades in uh, Wild Wild West. <laughs> Force of nature. <laughs> hey, nice work, kid. If in doubt in an action movie, just put the word kid at the end. Sounds really hardcore. That looks bad. And not like good bad. Just bad bad. Thanks, Will. That part is a little dramatic. Oh yes. Oh yes. I need a moment. I may have um, had a uh, incident down there. Excuse me for a second. People of Britain uh, and film fans, we will uh, we will guide you through what is big on streaming next time. Bye bye. Goodbye. See you, See mate. you next week, James. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great talking. That to was you. great.
that was great. 